What if your daily meals were uncertain and your survival hinged on the mercy of external aid? This is the grim reality that the people of Gaza grapple with every day. The World Health Organization has raised a red flag, warning of a high and escalating risk of famine in the Gaza Strip. The cause? Constraints imposed by Israel on the delivery of humanitarian aid into the besieged Palestinian territory. The WHO's Emergencies Director Michael Ryan states, This is a population that is starving to death. This is a population that is being pushed to the brink. Efforts to bring aid into Gaza are continuously disrupted, and the space for humanitarian intervention is being restricted in every aspect. The civilians of Gaza, who are not parties to this conflict, are right in the middle of a massive catastrophe, and their health facilities should be protected. The Gaza Strip is caught in a vice of geopolitical conflicts, with its civilians bearing the brunt of the fallout. Imagine trying to deliver aid to a population in need, only to face constant disruptions and limitations. This is the reality of aid delivery to the Gaza Strip, where the World Health Organization's efforts are regularly met with obstructions. Every aspect of humanitarian intervention is being constrained. The delivery of food, medicine and other essential supplies is frequently disrupted, resulting in a population that is being pushed to the brink. This isn't just a logistical nightmare. It's a humanitarian crisis of unprecedented proportions. Adding to this, major Western countries who are key donors have announced the suspension of their aid to the United Nations Agency for Palestinian Refugees, known as ANARWA. This decision is more than just a political stance. It's a move that could potentially sever the lifeline that 2 million people in Gaza depend on. The UN has called this decision a collective punishment. The civilians of Gaza are not party to this conflict, yet they bear the brunt of its consequences. The WHO's Emergencies Director, Michael Ryan, has warned that this population is already at a high risk of famine, and this risk is rapidly escalating. Access to proper nutrition has become a major issue, with both the calorie count and the quality of nutrition having dropped sharply. This is a population that is starving to death. The suspension of aid is not just a political decision, but a potential death sentence for millions of people. When you think of a health crisis, you likely imagine a disease outbreak. But in Gaza, the health crisis is much more complex. The World Health Organization's Emergencies Director, Michael Ryan, paints a grim picture of the situation with the number of operational health facilities in Gaza dramatically reduced. This is not just a consequence of conflict, it's a deliberate obstruction of aid. The WHO is facing an uphill battle in propping up Gaza's health system, with over 100,000 Gazans either dead, injured or missing and presumed dead. This is a crisis that goes beyond the physical wounds of war. It's a crisis of malnutrition, of overcrowding and exposure to cold through lack of shelter. Imagine trying to survive indefinitely on food aid. This is the reality for the people of Gaza, with access to proper nutrition becoming a major issue. The quality of nutrition consumed by the people has dropped sharply, creating conditions ripe for massive epidemics. Ryan warns, it's supposed to be emergency food aid to tide people over. And if you mix a lack of nutrition with overcrowding and exposure to cold, you can create conditions for massive epidemics. And we are seeing them. This is a population being pushed to the brink, a population starving to death. And it's not just about food and medicine, it's about the very essence of human rights. In Gaza, the health crisis is not just a matter of medicine, but a struggle for basic human rights. So where do we go from here? How can we as global citizens address the crisis unfolding in Gaza? The World Health Organization has issued an appeal, a plea for reconsideration of the suspension of aid that is the lifeline for 2 million people in Gaza. A population already pushed to the brink is now threatened with a catastrophe of unimaginable proportions. The call to action is clear. We must raise our voices, bring attention to the plight of the people in Gaza. Social media platforms, community forums, local and international news outlets, these are all channels we can use to amplify the message to ensure that the world does not turn a blind eye to this humanitarian crisis. Support is crucial. There are numerous organizations tirelessly working to deliver aid and healthcare to the region. Let's back their efforts, contribute in any way we can. The crisis in Gaza is a test of our collective humanity. Will we rise to the challenge or will we let a population starve?